Hi, we are Mimi and Andre and we live in this van with our pets. <laughs> ah. This one is uh, my mom's dog, but she's living with us at the moment. So now we have three pets. <laughs> so today we're gonna show you around our van. Welcome to our home. This is something we do like a hundred times a day. <laughs> Welcome in. Okay, maybe we should start at uh, this side. So here is our kitchen area. Um, we have a space here for the pets. Sometimes we also use it as storage. We have uh, running water with this homemade uh, switch <laughs> because the original one broke. And under here we have a, a trash can and our fresh water and grey water from the sink. And there's a magnet that keeps the door closed. So that works really good actually. And we have a tiny drawer with an opening for the, the sink. And this drawer has also like kitchen stuff and random stuff. And it's like closed so you cannot pull it straight out. So you have to lift a little bit and then pull it so it doesn't fall out. Uh, yeah, there's like random kitchen stuff in here and it actually fits a lot of stuff, so that's good. Everything is like really simple, homemade. It's really perfect for us. We have everything we need in a tiny, tiny space. <laughs> here is a big storage area. It used to be a drawer from this side, but it was really complicated with the sofa, so we changed it. Uh, now it's a storage like this and we have boxes that pulls out. I will pull out one so you see how big it is. Like really big storage and two of them. And in between we can slide in some stuff as well on the sides. <laughs> and here is like an area where we always keep a random stuff. Too much, uh, but it's supposed to look like this, like clean and fresh. So we can see some views if we have nice views outside. And Amigo has his food here as well. And next drawer is this one. There is like a, a switch here. You can lock it so it doesn't go out when we drive. And we have like spices and a coffee grinder. Yeah, random kitchen stuff like food and uh, spices. And, stuff. and under here we have almost a secret compartment. When we open this, here is our stove. Like this. So usually we use it over here when we make coffee in the morning or if we make something really quick uh, and in the evenings or later we use it on the table where we can sit more comfortably and cook. Okay, Okay. so last thing in this area is our toilet. So this area of the van is our kitchen, toilet, living room, bedroom. <whistles> toilet is under here. So we just pull it out like this and there's uh, just enough space to sit here and uh, yeah. And this uh, side, it's not just a window, it's a sliding door. So we can actually open this door and take out the toilet from the other side when we want to empty it. So that's pretty simple. So the next thing is uh, this area, which is our tables. So I'm gonna take these two table legs It just folds up and there is a holder underneath like this. We have two of them so we can decide if we want to use both tables or just one of them depending on what we're gonna do or which doors we have open and so on. So if we want a lot of space for work or cooking we sometimes take up both so we can uh, have the stove on one and like space to prepare the food on the other one and uh, sometimes if we work we can have more space like this. But it's really nice to have the option to choose. Sometimes we want to have this table open so we just 
um, if someone sits in the corner and cooks maybe and then we have more open space here uh, like this just have to move away when we fold down the table so yeah that can be nice so the table doesn't block the like the middle of the van and underneath the tables we have storage uh, all kinds of storage and here we have a, a storage where we usually keep uh, drinks and stuff like bottles and um, then we have different kinds of storage here we're still trying to figure out the best like storage boxes but these are pretty good we bought them on our travels because they're like soft so they go in pretty good here and we have some uh, like bedding and stuff for the pets here we keep our chimney and some stuff for the wood burning stove but we're gonna talk more about that soon yeah and over here we have like storage boxes and actually now an empty storage but we took some stuff into the house because we are now parked at uh, Andre's dad's house Here in the back we also have some storage, no surprises. In here we have our shower stuff, uh, yeah, and this box is also a little storage. And in the corner here there is a little bit of space behind this drawer as well, where we can slide in some stuff. On this side we have this little storage thing that's attached with Velcro. And actually we got this on the road in uh, Fuerteventura because we met a woman with a sewing machine in her van and she made it for us. Really nice. Under our sofa bed, we have two drawers. So the first one is our clothes. And this is like a big drawer. It goes all the way uh, to the back, to the wheel. Now it's not completely full because we took some stuff into the house. Uh, we have some uh, pillows, which we also have clothes in because yeah, it's a good storage. We want to have some nice pillows, which we can take outside and maybe have in the bed when we are sitting. So yeah, then we use them as clothing storage as well. The last drawer is uh, for food and kitchen stuff. So we have like our frying pan. It's a cast iron pan, so it's like heavy and gets really hot. So it has this cover. Uh, Omnia oven, so we can cook like oven stuff, pizza or baking stuff. Uh, plates, all kinds of stuff, jars, like food. And here behind, we have our electric system. Uh, and, and now a we have a dog. Home. And a dog, apparently. And we always, always have a cat under here as well when we open this drawer. Anyway, <laughs> our inverter, which also has a panel up on the wall, so we can start it. So we can start the inverter from the on and off button on the wall. Behind the inverter in the, in the back there is our battery and all the cables. And the regulator for the solar panels. And here we have two solar panels. A small one, I think it's 50 watts in the back. Covered in fall leaves. <laughs> and here we have uh, uh, 180 watts. Yeah, and then we have this uh, homemade tiny tiny chimney for our stove and it's uh, detachable so we just have a lid when we don't use it and our skylight okay let's uh, go back inside and look at the wood burning stove uh, i'm gonna explain a little bit about our stove while andre puts more wood inside because it's already burned out so we need to add more firewood okay so we have this tiny tiny wood burning stove that we got at an auction online it's actually a, like a toy stove so it's not a real functioning stove but we have modified it pretty much uh, so it, now it works and we can have a fire and have a warm and cozy van we don't actually have any other heating in the van so we try to not stay in too cold places but we can warm up the van really good with this and underneath the stove we have this storage for firewood. So when we find like dry wood or if we sometimes buy firewood, we fill it up under the stove. Everything is attached with screws, both the stand, which the stove is standing on, and also 
the stove is attached to the stand. So everything is screwed in and also the chimney is screwed into the wall as well. Yeah, now we have a good fire. It burns really good and also it warms up the van really good in a really short time. But the only thing is that we need to add wood pretty often. And here in the front we always uh, have some stuff that we move from the back when we stop. So now we have our pillows and uh, uh, like a box which we can also use as a seat. And it's full of food and stuff. And we have the cat's uh, litter box on the floor. And we also have our fridge here in the front. Uh, 15 liters compressor fridge. And some storage behind the seat, like a uh, window covers and uh, different things. And last but not least, we're gonna show you how our bed works. So this is our sofa bed and uh, yeah, let's show you how it works. So this is our bed. We have a little bit of space here next to the bed so we can like put our clothes down or like pillows and yeah. We can also reach stuff easier like under the bed or like under the tables a little bit. Yeah. And the bed is wide enough for two and really comfortable. <sighs> so that's our van. Thanks for coming along on this van tour. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, bye! bye. <laughs>